Peter Anowi is a sustainable fashion innovator. He salvages waste textiles and uses rubber from car ties to make shoes. Anowi says his sustainable shoes contain about 75 to 100% recycled materials. So a typical 100% recycled shoes from Coleco is made out of discarded uh, jeans, uh, woolen fabric, and used car ties. So the discarded jeans mostly is the outer part of the shoe, what we, be, we mostly see in the shoe. And also the woolen fabric is the, uh, what we use in lining our shoes. And the sole is made out of this discarded or used car ties to make the shoe more durable and very lasting. Anowi gets his waste textiles from households and second-hand clothing markets. Ghana has the largest second-hand clothing market in West Africa and is also the largest importer of these textiles, second to only Pakistan. Every week, about 50 million items of rags and used clothing from Europe and the US are shipped to Ghana. But 40% of these items are not fit for use and harm the environment because they contain toxic chemicals and plastics. When these rags are discarded, they produce harmful solid waste, says an environmental official. What is left is being thrown elsewhere. So it ends up in our drains. So uh, in our bid to dissolve the these drains and whatever, we got to realize that the plastics complementing these uh, fabrics is the result of what? The flooding we've been having within the metro. And uh, it is imminent. Anytime it rains, let's say within an hour or two, Within the central business district, you see that most of our drains are choked and there's flooding all over. Anobi warns that Ghana's drinking water is threatened by dyes and chemicals from discarded clothes. According to Rachel, textiles waste is really taking over the world. And if we don't stand out and do something more sustainable to bring this menace down, uh, in some years to come, we wouldn't even have good drinking water. Ghana's textile industry has been growing significantly over the years and also generates waste, most of which is dumped in landfills. Industry experts say while Ghana is making steady progress towards sustainable fashion, there is a huge deficit in awareness. The fashion industry, that is the designers, those who even create the fashion items should be educated on sustainable fashion from the beginning. Then we move on to the consumers who consume these products. Okay, so if a consumer knows they are investing their hard earned money into sustainable items, fashion items, they don't mind um, how expensive it is, they would go in for it. Industry research suggests Ghana can become a leader in the circular textile economy because of the availability of a large labor force and huge quantities of second-hand clothing. It will be up to entrepreneurs like Peter Anowi to lead the way to this sustainable transformation. Sena Anutod for VOA News, Takrade, Ghana.